my name is Noah Bernardo. I'm with Rescue Records and the Exodus Tour. And before I share a little bit with you, I want to read something to you guys out of Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. And it says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified. And it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. I want you to think about that while I share a couple things with you guys. You know, God really laid it on my heart to uh, talk to you guys about where you're at today. You know, uh, an incident just happened here in San Diego at uh, Santee High School where a young man by the name of uh, Andy lost it. And uh, unfortunately, he took two other youths' lives and injured 13 others, which is a tragedy. And that just goes to show that, you know what, what's going on with our youth today? What's really happening? And I think that there's so many challenges out there that you guys are coming up against that it's just unreal. Some of you guys are laying in bed thinking, you know, what is life really all about? Some of you are strung out on drugs. Some of you are hate your parents. Some of you just hate life, period. And some of you are just confused because maybe your parents are divorced and you're not really feeling that love. You know, I just want to share one thing with you guys, and that's Jesus' love. You know, he may just be a figment of your imagination or just a word, the name Jesus. But you know what? He's for real. 20 years ago, he changed my life. He really changed my life. I hated people. I was strung out on drugs. As a matter of fact, I even challenged God to come down and face me face to face so I could literally challenge him. You know, I wanted to fight this God that everybody was talking about, that he's so good. And I was screaming at the top of my lungs because I was so tired of life that I begged him to come down so that I could literally beat him up. Seriously, I I hated God that much because of where I was at in in my life. And you know something God showed me? He came down all right and he met me, but not the way that I wanted him to meet me. He met me with his love. He wooed me. He brought me, he he nurtured me to a place where I could see him and sense him. I can't really explain it, but Jesus explains it really cool to a man by the name of Nicodemus, who was considered, you know, he'd be like a council member in today's society. He was very wise, he, he knew the law of the land, and he came to Jesus at night because he was scared. He didn't want to be seen with Jesus, but he snuck out of his house and went and talked to Jesus. He said, Jesus, how can I get to heaven? How can anybody get to heaven? And Jesus looked at him with just these incredible loving eyes and said, you must be born again. And Nicodemus, I can see Nicodemus, he probably said back and go, yeah, right, whatever that means. How can I be born again? I can't, I'm an old man and I can't shove myself back into my mother's womb. I, I can't, how, I don't understand Jesus. And Jesus looked at him, and I, and I bet with all my heart, Jesus had a little smile on his face and said, Nicodemus, you are a man of wisdom and knowledge, and yet you don't understand the things of God. And Jesus began to share with him how you can be born again. Remember that scripture I read to you in the beginning? If you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, that you will be saved. Well, that's what he meant. You have to ask God to come into your life, come into your heart, and change you. Now, I'm not saying that, you know what? You're gonna gonna ask him to come into your life and things are gonna be instant. But I tell you this, I made that challenge at the top of my lungs at three o'clock in the morning, walking down a dark street, and I begged him to show me who he really was because I was tired of life. And you know what? Six months later, six months, he showed me who he was. And I'm telling you, if I could rip my heart out and put it into your chest, and then you could experience the love and the faithfulness of God, you would just explode because he's so awesome. He loves you guys. That's why we put this Exodus tour together so that we can go out and meet you at your playing field with the alternative music, with the rap, with the b-boy dancing, with, with lowrider car show. That's not what it's really all about, but you know what? 
that's what you guys can relate to and we want to give that to you so that you can just at the same time be entertained but the most important thing about this CD and the Exodus tour is that you come to a personal knowledge of Jesus Christ I can sit here and tell you that I have been walking with Jesus since that time for 20 years today he changed my life he's changed my family's life he's changed my kids lives and everybody that I've had an opportunity and that would give me one second of their time to share how much Jesus loves you and they allowed him to come into their lives he has changed their lives seriously I'm not talking about religion I'm talking about a personal relationship with Jesus Christ it's for you and you say well how can I do this I'm all jacked up I'm strung out I'm a hooker I'm a drug dealer I'm this I'm that I'm strung out on pornography I'm strung out on this I hate my parents I'm getting ready to kill somebody how can God love me he can and it's very simple just say in your heart right now Jesus I confess that you are Lord and I confess that I am a sinner that I have not been doing things the way you would have done them, the way you walk when you were here I want that I want you in my life Jesus if you're for real come into my life I invite you to come into my heart today and take charge of my life God bless you guys and I hope I see you at the Exodus tour somewhere in your city I love you guys and Jesus loves you more than I do.